Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World and I'm Deb Chanel. Hello, 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 hello. But thank you for coming to the house again. Seeing what I have or having to talk about as a particular subject matter. Yes, honey. But we're going to be creeping on along and we're going to be honing in on the talks of what Portia Williams got going out on them streets. Yes, Portia Williams from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She has expressed herself to U.S. Magazine. I'm sure y'all know the magazine that I'm talking about, U.S. Weekly Magazine. Yes, but welcome to my YouTube channel again. And thank you for all my um, past subscribers, my future subscribers, and my current subscribers. I thank you so much. Much love shown here, as well as you showing love back to me. So we both get the big hugs. The big hugs, the big kisses, and all that good stuff, okay? It's always a family affair over here. You talk to me, I talk to you. We agree, we uh, disagree, and then we just go on about our business until the next video, okay? <laughs> and we'll square off again. But anyway, um, yeah, another uh, story came across my media feed. Just recently, it was four hours that they put out the story on Portia Williams trying to decide whether her and Dennis would have another child. And like I said, I didn't get into it. I just read the uh, title of the article. It's written by Meredith uh, Nardinero or Nardino. We're just going to call her Meredith, okay? But she's one of the employees over there at U.S. Weekly. And she's banging out this salacious story. Interesting story because I don't know why um, Portia's still thinking about having more babies when she ain't even married. So evidently that shows that she ain't got that pre prenup together. Okay. Somebody ain't trying to sign no prenup. She better go talk to her girl Candy Burrs and get Dennis in a headlock of some sort and say, look, dude. We are not having any more babies. We're not doing this. We're not, you know, having me be a baby mama factory machine making babies here and there. And then I don't even have your last name, but your kids have your last name. So I'm like, I don't know. Who are you researching as an attorney, lawyer of entertainment or just attorney, period, Portia? You need to go seek. Yes, and I do mean seek uh, some uh, logistic or legal representation because you have all these children by that man and you don't know we don't know if he's gonna fit the bill as being a husband because he's already a father to a dad to these kids a kid and he got you sporting around a used ring one that he cheated on and he replaced it back with the same ring to you again for a second uh proposal and he was an Indian giver all in one. So I don't know how you keep recycling uh, rings like that, but it seems like you need to put a spin on it, turn that ring in, get you another ring. Same quality of value, uh, if must be, but if you're going to start anew, start everything anew. Um, that's my opinion. You can do what you want to do. You always do it anyway, okay? And then you put your stuff out in social media, giving me the format to say, hmm, should I speak on that or should I just let it ride? Well, you know, anything the Housewives of Atlanta women do, you know, hey, I may 99.9% .9 speak on it. Same as with marriage and medicine, if it piques my interest. And at the time, it seems like, I ain't going to say those women act a little bit more pleasing to the eye and get less on my nerves where I don't have to go in and regulate in my own special way. I mean, we got Dr. Helen, Heavenly over there. And oof, oof, oof. That's another whole, another whole juncture of trying to understand somebody's comings and goings. Oh, as well as with Dr. Jack over there, putting everybody's business on Front Street and thinking she don't have any qualms about doing it. We'll do it again. And she don't care about their feelings. But, you know, that's another whole separate subject. But we talking about Portia Williams tonight. Yes. And again, and I kind of got off my tangent sidebar. Uh, but yeah, Meredith over there at U.S. Weekly, she brought out a, a, a nice story piece, an article on Portia Williams uh, in the discussion whether or not she's going to have another baby or not. So for us not to tarry too long, uh, longer than I anticipated, than with the other video that I just released, 
uh, out for everybody to partake of and get their perspectives on what I said and they can voice their opinions back to me and we can address them at a later time. But yeah, uh, her article she gives us on Portia Williams, it goes as Portia Williams reveals whether or not she's ready to have a second child. Well, since you put it out there on, on social media and you kind of gave us a, a, a indoor look at discussing anything with you. Because like I say, anything you don't want to discuss, you don't put out there. So evidently, you, mo- you must want the media's uh, opinion or for them to voice their opinion back to you on whether or not you should have a second child. Well, honey, if I was, I keep it a family affair. So if you rock with me, you don't over here and subscribe to me and you love my channel, this, that, and the third, but you just do it anonymously. I'm going to tell you a question. Sit your behind down somewhere, okay? Don't even think about having another child until you really felt that you needed to and wanted to be with this man. Okay, whether he's going to be doing the same thing that got him in trouble with you all's relationship, the first go around. Is he going to, you know, toe the line? Is he going to be respectful of you and be loyal to you? Because we don't, I don't actually want to see you fall apart again and put this as your storyline. Because it's pretty much been beaten to death. Put the fork in it because it's done. All right. Well, well, overdone. So, well, we don't really want to hear about you and Dennis anymore if you want to really look at it from my perspective and my eyes, okay? Either you're going to be with the brother, be with the brother. But don't tease us on whether you're going to get married to him or, you know, this, that, and the third. Just go on and do it. Do it. Do it till you're satisfied. Go on and do it. Do it. Do it till you're satisfied. Go on and do it. Yes. Go on and do it, Portia. Damn. What you waiting on? <laughs> okay. If you love the man, he's all that. You trust them again. Go on, go on, jump the broom. Go to the courthouse. Do what you got to do. Have a big special a party or whatever. Just don't get married. Do the darn thing. And be made of a reputable woman. Instead of going out here looking like yourself as a baby mama. Then you're trying to throw it out the aisle like that. Like, should I have another baby by here? Nah, you should take your ass down to the courthouse and get married. Then come back and have that uh, epiphany of whether you and him should have another baby or not. But I'm just saying, that's my sidebar. I'm on my soapbox. This is how I get down sometimes when I have to address foolishness. Because I know I'm on another level, another wavelength of thinking things through. But Portia, baby, you're not making no sense out there. I know we don't take the whole series of season 12. You play your storyline of the breakup to make up deal with Dennis you know and you say you want to be there you want PJ to have the normal family that you didn't have and this girl get off your soapbox okay get off of your soapbox PJ is going to be fine believe it or not whether you with Dennis whether you with another man or not it doesn't matter she is going to be fine because you're a good mother you have displayed that you're a good mother. You ain't going nowhere unless the Lord take you home. You're a good provider for her. You just don't have no self-worth when it comes to, you know, messing with these men. And they try you every chance they get. You know, do you remember Cordell, boo? Do you remember how he treated you? Then you got the same brother that say he want to wife you. But he going around here messing with other women while you're carrying his child. His first child, okay? So, I... I'm at a loss. So let's just go on and get into this um, article. And maybe we can find some clarity other than what I'm saying. Maybe you're making sense through this article or this commentary you did with U.S. Weekly when you gave them that exclusive um, interview. Okay. But anyway, like I said, Meredith and um, Nardino had um, brought out this story. She titled it, um, Portia Williams reveals whether or not she's ready to have a second child. Okay. Um, He goes on to say, baby makes four. Portia Williams revealed the one condition that would get her to have baby number two with Dennis McKinley. Lord, you got conditions on it? And you ain't got a prenup solidified in writing? 
ready to be filed with the courthouse. So you can just brush your cares away. You ain't have to. And you, girl, okay. But anyway, it breaks down in subtitles. It says the most tantamonious relationships in reality TV history. We are talking about it. And if it does not happen by PJ's birthday or by June, my birthday next year, then it won't be happening. The Real Housewives of Atlanta Star 38 said while answering fan questions during a recent episode of the radio show Dish Nation, if it happens, it happens. I don't really have to try. Just lay there. What the hell does that mean, Portia? Okay, I'm just going to let her stay in Tatiana land or Thought land or wherever she is at that point. Let's go and get into another uh, piece of that article and another uh, paragraph because that, that really didn't quite make sense. All right. Okay, it says both McKinley, 39, and Williams previously expressed their desire for a second baby shortly after the on and off couple reconciled from their brief split in June. The pair had called it quits over the summer when the businessman was accused of infidelity by YouTuber Latasha Kiwi at the time. I want to say Latasha is that unwind with Tasha, but that's just a legal name. Y'all get in the comments and let me know. Because I know um, Tasha K was definitely all over it. So maybe that's her real government name, Latasha Kiwi. Okay, moving on. At the time, McKinley denied the allegations in a statement made to U.S. Weekly. Um, these um, false and sla slanderous allegations against me are made solely to damage my reputation, jeopardize my ongoing businesses, and negatively impact my family. He said at the time, my attempts to ignore the slander had have only empowered Tasha Kibi, okay, a.k.a. Tasha K, to create more false uh, accusations. The Bravo star gave birth to the pair's daughter, Pilar Johanna, a.k.a. PJ, in March when the reality T TV duo initially found out that they were expecting their first child together. They quickly got engaged only to call off the nuptials as the alleged cheating scandal came to light. U.S. confirmed in August that the pair had reunited with Williams was spotted wearing her engagement ring during an interview. Okay. During a recent appearance on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live uh, with Andy Cohen, the Real Housewives star was Alba Smiles as she discussed her on-again wedding plans. Okay, and we're just going to kind of stop right there so we can just see if we can wrap our minds around what Dennis was trying to say in the social media realm of advertising and uh, just pretty much everything because we have to put out there that yeah Tasha K did um drew first blood and brought that salacious story out to the public viewing that uh Dennis McKinley had cheated it was supposedly been cheating he was supposedly supposedly been cheating with sincerely ward um some type of entertainer out here wanna be in a sense um uh, She's known in certain genres, but I, I think it's like uh, some type of reality TV show she was on. But I don't think it got much play and it ended up dissolving itself. I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that. But uh, I know I saw her on um, when they were featuring her on Real Housewives of Atlanta when they were coming back for their first season. I think it was the first or second episode of season 12 where she was supposedly just hanging out at the OLG restaurant when Candy and um, Eva and Cynthia were partaking of a lunch meal there. And she comes up to them all fake and fraudulent and mic'd up uh, saying that she wanted to discuss something that was going on with uh, the rumors that were being out there on her about Dennis McKinley and Portia Williams, her colleague on the show. And I'm like, she's all fake and fraudulent because why should, <sighs> girl, it should have been like you caught Porsche on the street somewhere and you just went up to her or something to that degree. And then it would have been like, okay, she's um, stepping to the lady that she's supposed to have had an affair with her uh, fiance. You know, that would have been more salacious and entertaining. 
but she gonna go over there to Ken's little shop and have or leak information back to her of the untruths or whatnot so she can parlay it back to Portia. But you know how Portia and Candy got off on the wrong foot because Candy folks in her camp was telling her all this third and third, you know, some of some past issues that was going on with them and Portia took it the wrong way and she was just ah rah 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 at Candy and they were rah 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 at each other and Ooh, it was just a hot mess, you know. It was a good storyline, but you know, it was just too much, too much. And um, you know, it resolved itself. So with Candy coming back with more hearsay type of information, you know, she's kind of not wanting to trust um, Candy's word or uh, what she heard. But then Eva and uh, Cynthia was there, so she was a little bit more calmer to listen to the scenario of what was put together and saw that it wasn't just candy click trying to make something up and try to make it be an ordeal for the negative that she actually wasn't with her clicks at the time of her good good girlfriends or good good guy friends and you know on that front you know on candy cold at night so you know the friends that she grew up with and she had holes dear to her heart and no they wouldn't say anything offensive to her or hurt her but just put false rumors out there so with her having Eva and um, Cynthia there to vouch and say, no, she really said this, this didn't that. We didn't come up to her or Candy didn't go up to her. She saw Candy out. She dropped this information. So we can blame Bravo for that. <laughs> that chasing the storyline and bringing that to light. All right. We're going to blame Bravo for that. But um, to make demands on, oh, we need to get married by PJ's birthday or before my birthday, which is in June or something to that effect. Like, Portia, what are y'all waiting on? Y'all waiting on Bravo to get the spinoff so they can pay for everything and watch y'all drop the broom and probably divorce four or five months down the road? You know, I, I don't know. What are, you, what are you waiting on? If this man loves you, you love this man, you don't forgive give, forgiving this man, you don't think he'll do it to you again, or you're hoping and praying he won't do it to you again, go on and get married. Okay, I'm sure you could still let Bravo film you, this, that, and the third, and you just go on to your happy, blissful time because everything you put out on here on your um in your job and you're letting them expose you and your life to all of this criticism, what are the chances of it being solidified for the longevity? I'm just saying, Portia. But it just don't make no sense, girl. It just don't make no sense. And I'm not even going to bring your mom into it because she probably don't told you. She probably discussed it with you, too. You know, but she wants to um, see you happy. It seems like Dennis is making you happy. Of his um, money portfolio is making you happy. You're not marrying no one broke or uh, trying to make ends meet. So I don't know. I don't know, Portia. I'm looking at you sideways, babe. I'm, I'm looking at you sideways ways because you're not bringing in the type of understanding of common logic sense to this scenario you're trying to paint for us but let's get on into it uh, back to the article um she has a subtitle where it says celebrity couples who stay together after cheating scandals okay it will be next year but we don't have a set date yet Williams told host Andy Cohen and on Sunday, December 1st, we are re-engaged. We're working on our family. It takes time. I love him. He loves me. And we're doing what's best for our family. That's really all you can do. Okay. The flatline singer was previously married to former Pittsburgh Steelers player Cordell Stewart before their divorce in 2013. Okay. And that's pretty much it from that article. So what do you guys think? Uh, should Portia go on and throw caution to the wind? Like she's done everything else in this particular scenario. No really um, barriers or borders that she's set for herself. And it don't seem like she's setting any barriers or borders going forward with this young man. Because as we're seeing her work herself out in her therapy appointments on season 12, you know, it's just, it's, she says a lot of stuff. And then when we know this is old and it's already been taped, you know, the contradictions that we have here that she's going through. Though, granted, it's her own life. But, you know, like I said, if you want everything kept private and you don't want to have opinions on people 
from all cultures, from all walks of life, weighing in on your situation, don't put it out there, Portia. Don't put it out there. Don't keep fueling the dying fire that's trying to die itself out. You keep igniting it by putting more wood on the fire, okay? So you already know how I feel about it. Be a wife. Don't be a baby mama. All your life. And I'm not saying hook up with Dennis uh, McKinley and continue to keep making babies and this, that, and third. Because that's your life. That's where you want to get down. You know, maybe you'll never get married to this man. But you'll just have, you know, babies bound. I mean, I don't know what they say about your character. What does that say about your demeanor when it comes to, you know, being married before you have children. Or just being married to a cheater that hadn't really come out and said... Ooh, I cheated. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, he said it in therapy, but, you know, uh, in the public eye, he was confessing that he ain't did none of the sort. But then when you're taping, he's going to be like, okay, I cheated, you know, and have all these tears rolling down his eyes from what Portia said because I didn't see it, you know. Uh, it's just a very interesting, still developing story on how this all would play out. But I don't think I got to say, Portia, don't be coming back saying you you was trying to get him a second chance for the baby and did that and that. no cause pay, baby pj gonna be fine he know how to be a good parent you know how to be a good parent it's called co-parenting but don't always put your eggs in one basket saying this man has changed and you haven't given him enough room or time because you're talking about next year sometime maybe in june maybe in december it's gonna happen next year though so I'm like, you ain't even really giving him enough time to even sit and wallow in what he did wrong and why he did it when he did it when you were pregnant. How of a, it's too much to think about, guys. <laughs> Just too much to think about. But it's her life. She live it to her fullest, live her best life. If it's that's with Dennis, I'm sure her mom said, would well, go on, honey. But don't be bringing all them tears again because we don't... It's going to be recycled stuff that we tried to tell you that, you know, you were shown what type of man this is. If he's not going to change because he needs to change, he wants to change, and he's changing because in him is telling his brain that he did wrong. He don't want to put you through that no more. You're the only woman that he can see himself with in this lifetime. Then, okay, let him make that change. But to just do it all drastically, you tape. The whole season 12 because you were emotional and you were going through all of this and it made a good storyline for you. But what are you giving us next time? The married life uh, with Dennis McKinley, but he's still doing, you know, negative things. I don't want to see it. I really don't. I want you to have a better storyline than that. But it just is what it is. You give me what you give me. I dissect it. And uh, if I don't want to talk about it, I want to talk about it because ain't no sense of being a dead horse. Now, if you tend to get in something else that's more something I want to talk about, then okay. But right now, it seems like you don't beat this whole situation with Dennis to a pulp and it's put a fork in it, it's done type of situation. Because we can't tell you nothing. Your mama can't tell you nothing. But we just saying, or I'm just saying, I don't want to, I want to see you come back crying when the stuff don't work out. You know what I'm saying? When it... Uh, Okay, but that's all I have for this particular video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Get down in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all really thought about Portia Williams calling herself, giving her own self demands on how she feels. Uh, she wants the outlook of her life to be presented to uh, in a little nice bow and box for 2020 with uh, Dennis McKinley um, at the uh, ship's uh, helm, uh, stirring the ship that they're supposedly uh, being a part of and raising their family in so we're just gonna have to see and wait and, and see what develops with that story but pretty much that's all i had guys for this video so don't forget to continue to like share subscribe to my video channel continue to partake with me when i'm having on uh, my community feed um polls questionable polls that i may have y'all want to you know interact with me in that type of format you know get in there answer the polls to your best ability of what you thought of that particular particular polling question come back and watch my videos at your leisure leisure and um let's keep this train rolling okay good commentary good content 
and you have a gracious host over here willing to accept <laughs> your opinions and be able to look in it and digest it okay but you guys um have a great evening watch me whenever you can at your leisure like i said and continue to like share comment and subscribe to my video channel if you haven't and tell definitely tell other people about me share 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 my videos okay and let's grow together but thank you all and i'll see you next video bye bye